Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x square minus y square is equals to 64 and x y is equals to 8. So we solve this problem for the values of x plus y. So you remember one thing is that our x plus y should must be belongs to positive real number. It means that we just solve this problem for positive real values of x plus y okay so here uh, for this uh, we need uh, two nice algebraic formula so the one uh, formula is very famous uh, algebraic formula you know about that if we have x plus y whole square because here we find the value of x plus y and when we apply square on this value it will be written as x plus y whole square equals to x square plus y square plus 2 times of x y so here you see that we have the value of x y is 8 we substitute it here but in order to find the value of x plus y we first need to find the value of x square plus y square so for the value of uh, uh, x square plus y square we use here an other nice formula you know about that uh, if we have x plus y whole square minus x minus y whole square is equals to 4 times of x y okay so we know about this formula but here we need to find the value of x square plus y square so that's why we just replace this x by x square and y by y square so when you replace on both of the sides x by x square or in other words we will take x is equals to x square and y is equals to y square so when you take these two values into the above equation so that our above equation is written as x square plus y square and its whole square minus x square minus y square and its whole square is equals to four times of x square and y square okay so we need to use here this nice formula in order to find the value of x square plus y square so for this we move this negative x square minus y square whole square to the right hand side because we just find the value of x square plus y square so here we move these two values to the right hand side and it will be written as this is the negative value when we move it into the right hand side it will become positive and we write it as x square plus y square and its whole square and this is four times of x square y square so we write this x square y square as x and y whole square so now uh, we have time to substitute the value of x square sorry this is x square minus y square okay we move this value here so this will be negative term so we need to substitute the value this value and this value here and you know into the given question statement is that x square minus y square equals to 64 and x y is equals to 8 so we use these two values in this equation uh, so here uh, when we substitute these values it will be written as x square plus y square and its whole square is equals to this is x square minus y square whole square the value of x square minus y square is 64 whole square plus this is 4 times of x y whole square the value of x y is 8 whole square and further in the next step we need more simplifications and you uh, will be written as here we know about that 64 square becomes 4096 plus this is 4 times of 8 square is equals to 64 and now here further we need to multiply these two terms and it will be written as 4096 plus 4 times of 4 times of 64 is equals to 256 and now here we need to sum up these two values and when we add these two values we will get here 4352 okay and in the left hand side we have x square plus y square and its whole square so here because our target is to find the value of x square plus y square for this we need to take square root on both of the sides so when we take square root on both of the sides it will be written as this two and this square root are gone and we will get here x square plus y square is equals to here we have this is 4352 
uh, so we write this term as square root of 17 multiplied by 256 so here you know about that when we apply a square root sign on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the side but now here i can just use a positive value because of uh, we need to get the value of x plus y is positive real number okay so positive real values of x plus y we just neglect here the negative term and we just proceed the positive value and now here further in the next step we need to apply the square root sign separately on both of these values and it will become 256 square root into square root of 17 and we know about that the square root of 256 is equals to 16 times of square root of 17 so this is the value of x square plus y square and now here uh, we need uh, to copy down uh, this equation here so we call this is equation number one so we copy down this equation here for the values of x and y for the value of x plus y so now our equation number one is implies that our equation number one is that x plus y whole square is equals to x square plus y square plus two times of x and y and here we need to substitute the value of x plus y and x y so here we have the value of x square plus y square is 16 times of square root of 17 plus this is 2 times of x y the value of x y is equals to 8 which we can write it here so we back substitute this value here and this is our 8 and in the next step we have this is x plus y whole square is equals to 16 times of square root of 17 plus this is 2 times of 8 becomes here again 16 and now you see here both of these two terms involve 16 so that we will take common 16 from here and we get the remaining values are 1 plus square root of 17 so here uh, our target is to find the value of x plus y so for the value of x plus y we need to again take uh, scaring on both of the sides so here uh, when we again take scaring it will be written as in this form and now here in the right hand side we need to apply the square root sign separately on both of these values and it will become the square root of 16 into square root of 1 plus square root of 17 but in the left hand side you see here these two and the square root are gone and we will get here x plus y and we know about that uh, x plus y is equals to square root of 16 becomes 4 times of square root of 1 plus square root of 17. Here you again see that we again apply square root sign on both of the sides but here again I can neglect the negative term and we just choose here the positive value because we solve this problem for only positive values of x plus y. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.